Hi everybody, welcome to tutorial number two, setting up Max 8 on your computer. You know, before I get started, I just want to remind um, people that you've downloaded Max 8, and hopefully if you um, have just followed the last tutorial, you have an untitled um, open project, uh, this is called a patcher, on your computer. But just for a moment, I want to go back to Max here and encourage you to use their 30-day trial. Um, when you buy Max, um, as you can see, it can be $9.99 a month, right? Well, if you use your 30-day trial, that means you save $9.99. Hey, that's real money. Also, the trial version of Max works every bit as well as regular Max. And when you get to the 30th day, all you have to do is buy a license and you won't have any problem. You don't have to reinstall anything. Your trial version of Max simply becomes your permanent version of Max. So I'd like to encourage you to do that, particularly people who are in my class um, or who don't know if they're going to like this program, you can easily find out in 30 days. And there is no downside. So there you go. OK, enough of that. How to set up Macs on your computer. Once again, you have um, this untitled object here on your computer. Now, one of the things about Macs is that it has to search around your computer to find things. And so this is perhaps one of the most important things you need to know about Macs. Go up to the Options in the main menu bar and click on it, and then go down to File Preferences. This is going to tell you where Macs is going to look for anything that it's looking for, like your files or audio or music or anything. If it's not in any of these search paths, Max will not find it. So this is quite important that A, you always have a search path that Max can go to to find the things that you want, and that you always keep your files in the same place, or at least in a place that you have a search path for it. So um, here we, I'm just going to go through these. The user library is in the Max8 library. Great. That's fantastic. Um, global library, examples, snapshots. But what we don't really have, well, you have your user library. And if that works for you, that's great. For myself, I use a Google Drive. So since I have to find a new place to show you how to do that, you click the plus button, you get a new user path here, and then you choose a new place to put your Max files. So I select my Google Drive and then my Google, my read IPEF folder, that's a long story, and Max documents. I keep all of my Max documents over here. Okay, so now when I, and, and once you select this, Max can find anything inside here. Again, this is important because I get lots of third-party um, things that work with Max, and all my old files are in here and everything. Max will not be able to find them if you don't give it the search path. So I'm not trying to drive you crazy with this. Just open it, and you'll see that you get this new search path here. Now, my search, the there's a huge number of files in my search path, so um, if when I close this it suddenly goes to the spinning beach ball that means because it has to process 10,000 files but for most of us that's going to be relatively short okay having done that I'm now going to take this patcher and say save as and I'm going to put it back in the same place which is in max documents you can navigate to it again you know, however you want to do that, Google Drive, read IPEF, Max Docs, um, and 
just put it right in there and I'm going to call it tutorial one, tutorial two, excuse me, tutorial two. Um, you know, uh, I'm going to call it Johnny's, <laughs> Johnny's tutorial two. And I'd also like to encourage you to put a descriptive name on the beginning of your um, file names. If you want them all to end up being in order, you can put this second. I'll, I'll put it second. That way, tutorial two will be after tutorial one, etc. But, oops, oh, now I have to type it. But um, if you're handing them into me, if you're in my class, you cannot imagine how annoying it is to have to sort through, you know, a hundred things named tutorial two. So go ahead and save it, tutorial two, with your name on it. And there it is in the right folder. Click save. And there you've got it. Tutorial two, Johnny's, and that's it. So now Max is should be up and running on your computer, always store all your files in that extra folder. And if you upgrade Max, I don't see that happening this semester, but if you've upgraded Max, sometimes it loses the search paths. So if your stuff suddenly gets all orange and it can't find anything, that's the reason. Um, I don't really have anything else to say about this because when we start our first patcher we're going to be in week one. But this is just how to set Max up on your computer. Now it's up and running, so I will see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.